see you, man. Story tell us, please, mate. Thomas can't rest in peace till we find a fucker that did this. What was it, poison? Cyanide, by the looks of things. Killed in seconds. Jesus Christ. The fellow Thomas has been dealing with has been arrested. Seems unlikely he did it. Could have been. No, the bloke who was arrested buys from us regularly. Why would he? It wasn't him, I know it. I have information that might be useful. Go on. Word is there was a cockney with him at the time of his death. So? Well, I thought about it. David Colby was top me. Could there be a link? There better fucking not be! Calm down, Vaughn. What if it is something to do with him? We messed up bad when it came to David. Mike, don't. No, we're all brothers here. I don't know why Vaughn thinks he's in charge when he fucked up so badly with David. Leave it. Just all of you, shut up! Michael makes a good point. We're all brothers here. But why are you the leader? When we should all be having a say. <coughs> you are. That's why we're sat at this table. We're the Blackbirds and we've lost a brother. So we need to stick together more than ever and find out who did this. I know what I am doing. Thomas just died. Have some respect. And that goes for all of you bastards. <sighs> I'm sorry, Vaughn. It was those contacts that we deal with. What do they want? They said a Cockney man from London is going to be at the deal tonight. They said that they paid for information regarding the Blackbirds. Cockney? Could it be? You've got work to know. Get yourselves ready. Excuse me, mate. Well, uh, I just realised I don't smoke. <laughs> Simon Black, isn't it? <sighs> David Colby. Ring any bells? Can't say it does. Typical. It's my brother. He was a distributor around the London area for your gang. Killed him. Why? <laughs> Did that be something? <laughs> He's not laughing at that. How did you know I'd be here? You know, word of mouth, some good friends. Oh, you bastards. <laughs> You need to be more careful. Can't trust everyone. Arthur. David. So, what do you think? What do I think of what? About the dealing. Dealing? Dealing, you'll get yourself locked up. Uh, it's good money. Besides, here's from our street. You wouldn't want her to die, would you? How dare you? 
I know that we need the damn money, but I'm trying to look out for you both. Dealing with big bastards like this is going to get you killed! David? David? David! Wakey, wakey! You're on stage. You've got one hell of an audience. Leave. You should take a look at yourself. Ah, oh, for Colby. I'm impressed. 18, aren't you? Three years younger than your brother. David. I did a lot of uh, research on the Colby family when David started. It's just you and your mother left now, isn't it? After he's gone, but... She hasn't got long left either, has she? Fuck you! <laughs> well, there he is. There's the Arthur Colby I'm looking for. Why did David die? <laughs> no. no, that's not how this works. You killed my brother, remember? Cyanide poisoning. Killed him in seconds. You'll find out why David died. But, until then, we can't keep squabbling. Screaming in each other's faces like we're school kids. No, oh, no. What we're going to do is we are going to sit over there. So, Arthur, you knew exactly where to find us. Word gets about. My brother told me plenty when he was alive. Now why did he die? And you're an 18 year old with thousands of pounds in your pocket and... a gun. Where did he get this stuff from? It's nothing to do with you. No need to explain. I know exactly where you got it from. A gun is easy enough to get in London. All those drug gangs everywhere, but the money... Well... It's got nothing to do with you. Your dying mother had money saved for her treatments hidden somewhere. And you knew exactly where, didn't you? Shut up. You stole your dying mother's money and you used it to track down and kill my family. Do you not think that's law, Arthur? Your family killed my brother! Why? For you don't understand. You don't get it. I've never seen someone so strongly driven by revenge until I found out that Arthur Colby had killed my brother. A lad driven by revenge so much that he would steal his dying mother's money and uses it to go after my family. Do you not find that quite psychopathic? I think it's justice. Oh, really? Do you think it's justice? 
I've got some news for you, Arthur. News? You've been here for two days now. My brothers have beaten you because it was fun. We even put you out with a stun gun at one point. Do you want to know what happened whilst you were being beaten by my brothers? What? Your mother died. Deborah Corby passed away peacefully in hospital. You're lying. How would you know? Everyone knows, Arthur. The mother of two scummy thugs. One of them dead, the other missing. Left to die all alone. They steal her savings to fund their thuggish activities. It's a new story. The nation hate you and your brother. Your little vendetta means nothing. Police are after you too. You haven't hidden your crime very well. A murderous thug who abandoned his dying mother. Well, it's time for you to pay. Oh, Arthur, look at where this gets you. This is what happens when you mess with the black <laughs> Scream all you like. No one will hear you. Sorry. Excuse me? I said, I'm sorry. One more time. Sorry! I said, I'm sorry! No, you're not. Not yet. You want to know why David died? Yes. Why did you kill him? There we go again, the brain of a psychopath jumping to conclusions. What do you mean? We didn't kill him, Arthur. I would never kill David, he was one of our best guys. His body was found down an alleyway, his head bashed in. That's your trademark killing, that's what David told me. That's not what we do. Anyone could bash a head in. No. Do you want to know what really happened to David? He was killed by a nobody. A random druggie who'll never be found. I had so much respect. For David, but you've jumped to conclusions. And I lost a brother. <laughs> this is your fault. You might not have killed David, but if it wasn't for you dragging him into this shit show, maybe I'd still have a brother. Maybe you would too. What? You think you're making amends? <laughs> That's funny. I'll give you that one. You ruined our lives. <laughs> Tell David I said hi. Vaughn! What? Police! What do we do? Did you do this? What do we do? What happened? Get out! How did we get out? Uh, round the back. 